Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon and today we have a speed build for you. Um, or I have a speed build for you. <laughs> um, so this build is actually for Red who is the um, main character of my Werewolf Let's Play and I wanted to build her her first starter cabin if you will and I was really looking forward to this because I was inspired by all the logs behind this lot so behind the lot that she is living at is just a bunch of logs it's got the crane it's by the porta potties and I was like oh she should just go grab all those logs bring them over and like chop them up and make a cabin um so that's what I built I built a um cabin for her to live in um, it's actually on stilts you can see right here I start to put it on stilts and it's very very simple um, I have all the werewolf furniture in there um, well not all of it but you know the bed I put the couch and stuff um, and then I put some really rundown appliances that came with city living you know the used ones and the counters that are used and stuff like that um, with the idea that she's just like collecting things um, from like around town and stuff like that so my thought on this and let, let me know what you think if you have some thoughts and want to contribute um this lot comes into just under or just over nine thousand, and i was thinking that what we would do is assuming that all of this is sca uh, scavenged um salvaged um that maybe we can actually have her get it before she act like she doesn't have to save up that full amount of money i don't know it, it seems a little cheaty to me, but it also fits the storyline more, you know? And in my own personal gameplay, that's what I would do. I would say, logically speaking, she would build this for almost free. So I don't know. I'm undecided. Um, so let, let, let me know what you think. Um, oh, my guinea pigs are behind me. They're making a lot of noise hope it's not too distracting um so yeah I I don't know but I love this and it's so cute um I I just mm, I, it, it's adorable it, it looks like a really rundown Airbnb to me if that makes any sense um I also really enjoyed using the by debug um debug by debug I can't I can't talk I should not be filming at like in the morning I'm not a morning person um but uh, the, the debug items for the werewolf pack are amazing and I love them um, so yeah I really enjoyed doing that uh, right now I'm just messing with the roof I was trying to get the uh, pillars there the columns to not like clip through the top hopefully I succeeded with that I think I did if I remember correctly um, and another really cute thing I love about this that I did is I put the couch on the outside you can see it just sitting there in the lawn right now and I put it on the porch and that just seemed so appropriate um, to I don't know like it wouldn't fit inside so we're putting it outside um, maybe it'll get rained on I don't know it looks like a leather couch so maybe it'll dry well I don't know I've never had leather, leather furniture um, but I just I just thought that looked so like so nice in a not nice way it looked appropriate I should say uh, but yeah so right here I'm struggling with the layout a little bit of the kitchen um, you would think it, it being such a simple kitchen I wouldn't have had any problems but I, I have a pet peeve when windows are um, blocked at all like I, I, I really need the window to be open and free so even if something goes over the bottom of the window a little bit I really have to like ask myself if it's if it's worth it so I think in this thing it was like I need this window right here so how am I gonna do that you know um very quick easy solution because we're not dealing with a complicated problem here it's it's just a, a square box uh, but yeah so this log right here this like falling tree log I love that I I don't know what what it is about uh, just a fallen tree debug object but I love it um, I'm actually from Maine so we're a logging state so which is 
I have mixed feelings about, honestly, but it, but it's fine. It is, it, it, it's a fact. We're a London state. Um, and I, I think I just love the items in this pack and the world and that came with this pack so much because it reminds me of, like, if I drive an hour north, that's where I'm at, you, you know? So it, it's, it's really, it, it feels homey to me. Um, much like the, um, oh, I can't think, uh, Brittleton Bay does because it's based on New England. And I actually live on the coast, so it makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I, I really love, um, I loved playing with some of the By Deep Vibe object, objects here. Um, but yeah, oh, and the furnishing in the cabin, I kept really simple. Um, I put a chair and a desk in here because what I would love to do is eventually get her I'm gonna say a computer, but I don't even think that'll work because I think at some point I do make this um, off the grid. Um, and then I put a light in there that I take out because again, I want it to be off the grid. Um, so yeah, the furnishing is super simple. Um, I, you know, make the, a lot of it's outdoor living, if you will. Uh, she's got the couch, the rug. I just put in like the coolest trash can in the world. I love that trash can. Um, trying to fit a bookcase in there was not working. This one's gonna have to go to the library. Red just has to go across the dirt road to the library and read there. Oh, and here I'm putting down the logs. I love these logs so much. Um, and I wanted it to look like, um, as far as like, the yard um, that she's still in the process of building. So she's still got some logs around there. She's got some pallets, some wood laying around. She's building the fence, if you will. She's got her planters out there, a tire laying around. Um, it's just, I, and I tried to see if I could put a plant in that tire and I couldn't, I was like, that's fine. Um, I think I ended up putting it on top of the pallet. When I put some more trees in there too, um, which, doesn't make a lot of sense because she's not going to be planting, you know, fully grown pine trees, but it's fine. Oh, that was, there's that bridge. I want to build a big bridge um, or a big uh, build on a lot where I use the bridges. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, right here, I'm just pulling out more objects. Um, I changed the fencing here, I think, in a few minutes. Um, and I, too, like, I don't know. I, I want her to have a lot of gardening space, basically. Um, and so here I am, I'm doing that right now. And I purposely left things kind of like in a disarray as well, because we are still a work in progress. That's what I wanted it to communicate. So she's just got, you know, everything just laying around. Um, and then some simple terrain painting, not uh, my expertise terrain painting. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I don't, I'm not awful at it, but I'm not someone who loves it. Oh, and this light. I hope because I made this off the grid, this light still works. I love it. I think it just like fits it so, so perfectly. There's no reason why that wouldn't work off the grid where it's a lantern. Same thing with this one. I hope that's an off the grid light. I don't think at this point in time I was thinking for that. So I don't, I don't think I checked, but it's fine. Oh, and then I put a grill out there, um, you know, just to, just to help with, you know, cooking, I guess, <laughs> I guess, you know, in case she just wants to grill and then chickens. Let me tell you guys, I, uh, I was starting to think right about now we need some money. So I need her, so maybe she can sell some eggs, but I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to jump into gameplay and we're going to go over the build some more. Okay, here we are. We are at the lot I have built. Um, and this is Red. So I downloaded this version of Red from the gallery. So she isn't necessarily our Red. So she hasn't like turned into a werewolf or anything like that yet. Um, but I thought it'd be neat to just show you the build with, with her as the Sim. Um, so yeah, so again, not a lot to it. Um, come through here. Actually, I haven't actually uh, tested this build yet. So I guess this is, this is our test. Um, so I know that they can't like walk through this properly. So I wonder what happens. Okay. So she walks to, she, she just, uh, walks right through it. That's fine. Um, so yeah, so grill, cute little, uh, bean pot thing growing. I love that this is basically in a Home Depot pot. Um, her little garden area and her chickens. I'm hoping that she can sell 
produce. Like maybe she gets a cow eventually or something. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of kind of fun. Um, but yeah, let, let's uh, go inside. Let's go up here and make sure. Oh, let's check the dust level. We are not checking that dust level. Oh, you know what? I also didn't put railings up here because nothing fit. So basically, she's just going to fall down the stairs and that's fine. Um, but yeah. Oh, I keep clicking check dust level. So this is our kitchen. Um, you know, not a lot to show here. Um, but yeah, I would love to get something for her. Maybe she could get like some generators or something and like ev eventually. I, I, I don't know, but I would love to have her write some books. Um, but she might just need to do those at the library. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, th this is it. I don't know. Um, there isn't a lot to show, but I love it. It's so cute. And maybe what we can do um, as we expand, we can um, make like lower levels or something, like make it kind of higgly piggly, if you will. I love making builds like that personally. So I think that would be really cute. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into gameplay, buying some chickens, getting her veggies grown over here, and just, you know getting things moving, if you will, as far as her homestead. And of course, with her uh, building up her werewolf skills, learning more about werewolves, stuff like that. So yeah, I should, uh, I'm filming again in a couple of days and we'll pump out the next few episodes and uh, see what happens and see if we can uh, get into this build before we have the money. Again, let me know what you think. Should we assume that she's built it all by hand and maybe she only needs a couple grand saved up or are we saving up the full like 9,000 or whatever it is? Let, let's see. Let's get a more accurate. Uh, oh, and it is a tiny home. That's right. I made it a tiny home. So it's 8,934. Um, and while I'm here, let's just go over this. So again, it's a tiny home. So it, it's the second tier, tier two, excuse me. So she has all of those benefits. And then I made it great soil. Oh, and a cat lot. That's right. Because she loves cats. We need to get her a cat as well. Um, or maybe she just takes them all to strays. Um, and it's homey. It's cozy. Um, and for the lot challenges, I put in off the grid and simple living. So we'll see about that. I'm not great with simple living, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy it. I will be putting up on the gallery after I, um, make this video. Um, and I, I hope, I hope if you download it and play it, your Sims live a really cozy, simple lifestyle. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have a great day. Bye guys. Toodles.